How is new technologies assisting the Chinese in fighting the coronavirus spread? Corona has been in headlines in all newspapers across the globe. The World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a global pandemic, which threatens the lives of people. With shutdowns everywhere from airports, to businesses and transport, the Chinese people are suffering, and they need global support. Apparently coronaviruses, are a large family of viruses, that cause not only the common cold, but also more serious respiratory illnesses. As of February 2019, a total of 74,185 people in mainland China were confirmed, as having been infected with the virus, most of them in and around Wuhan. At least 2,004 people have died, China's National Health Commission said. But even that is the case, China has not surrendered to this deadly virus. China is using the most powerful, in its arsenal to combat against corona, the technology. Is it possible to beat coronavirus? Yes. Technologies such as artificial intelligence and machine learning come into play. The major symptoms of coronavirus are fever, breathing difficulties and cough. Predictive analytics and big data have become a powerful tool for combating deadly disease outbreaks such as coronavirus and SARS. NLP is aiding in distinguishing between people complaining about coronavirus symptoms and those discussing the disease, but not affected. There is a number of CCTV cameras installed across the country. They are turning these mass surveillance and technology to fight against the coronavirus. The cameras can be used to spot people with low-grade fevers, while its railway systems can provide a list of people sitting nearby should a patient hop on board a train. Authorities are using the technology to monitor the spread of the deadly virus. Telecom giant China Unicom has set up a group-wide team of more than 100 big data technicians and experts to provide data analysis and intelligent applications to the government using algorithm models. China is allegedly using drones to keep a watchful eye over its residents to ensure they're taking the appropriate precautions to keep the coronavirus at bay. In addition, it's also believed that the nation is using robots in hospitals to alleviate the pressure from overworked medical staff and to provide faster checks of the virus. Chinese mobile operators and technology firms are supporting the tracking and prevention of pneumonia caused by the novel coronavirus with the help of big data. A smart data provider has studied the number of people traveling from Wuhan, the hardest hit city of the epidemic outbreak in central China, and released their distribution density in a heat map. An official document has asked for efforts to mobilize communities and village level authorities to launch grid based health management, tracking the health of residents with the help of big data and the public. U, a software and cloud services company, has updated its cloud service platform, using the Internet of Things, and big data technologies to connect the supply and demand of medical resources, between medical enterprises and hospitals at the center of the epidemic. The platform had released the demand for medical supplies, of 30 hospitals, involving protective clothing, masks, goggles, surgical gowns, and shoe covers. Before going out, one can use the Baidu map application to check the population density in business districts, hospitals, and transportation hubs in order to avoid crowded places, which is key to preventing and controlling the epidemic. When medical treatment is necessary, one can check the list of nearby hospitals that have set up fever clinics, using the Baidu map or WeChat. Staying at home, one can learn the latest epidemic news via smartphone. Epidemic information and protection knowledge collected, with big data are being shared with nearly 80 million users, every day through Toutiao, popular news feeds mobile app in China. The weather company's primary journalistic mission, is to report on breaking weather news, the environment and the importance of science to our lives. Researchers have trained neural networks, to predict the spread of infectious diseases in real time. Others are using AI algorithms to identify how preventive measures can have the greatest effect. AI is also being used to create new drugs, which we may well see repeated for the coronavirus.